The next skill to have when using a trading form backtest model is being able to change the historical data. Now, once you can do this, you will be able to change the market and you will be able to change the time frame and also the range of data being tested. So the easiest way and the way I'm going to demonstrate on this video is simply to copy and paste the data from another spreadsheet. And I've got an example here, and this is the S&P 500. So what I've got here at the moment is the Q's ETF, and I'm going to simply replace this data with the S&P 500. Now, the first thing to check is that the data is in the same order. So the same column order. So date, open, high, low, close. This is a pretty standard sequence of these price of these different prices, but it is not universal. If you have a data source that uses a different order, you will just have to rearrange it by inserting a column and then copying or cutting and pasting your data. As long as it's copied in using this format, the model will work perfectly well. So if I go on to my new data source here, the S&P 500, I'm going to scroll down and I am just going to highlight every cell, open, high, low, close, press Control C, and we get the marching ants. Control C is a shortcut on the PC for copy and for copying. Put here cell A4, which is where it normally is, but the start of the historical data, and press Control V. And you can see that we have very quickly and instantly replaced the historical data. Now I need to go down to have a look because it's almost inevitable that the two data sources won't end on the same day or the same time period. So a quick way to go to the bottom of this model is to double click here and it will scroll me down. And we can see here that indeed we have a bit of a gap. So we have our formulas finishing here and our data finishing here. This is very easy to deal with and you'll have to deal with it every time. And all you want to do is just copy across, get all these formulas, double click on the bottom right hand corner, and it is done. And you now have your new historical data and all your formulas going down to exactly the same row. We can click on the results here and see how this new data has fitted in with our model. You might well have a situation which is effectively the opposite, where our data and our formulas are, look, look a bit like this. So we have the data finishing here and our formulas going further down. Again, this is very easy to fix. First thing I always do is make sure you delete this bottom row of formulas because there is some formulas which point to the next row. And then all you need to do is click delete and it will get rid of all those unwanted formulas. You can even highlight this in yellow so you know where the data is. Again, I just double click and go up here and I'm back at the top of the spreadsheet. One final thing, for those of you who want to test an intraday time period, the usual place that we put the time is here. Okay, so we now have date, time. And so probably your historical data will be in the format date, time, open, open, high, low, close. And your dates will all go in here. If you want any formulas that specifically refer to them, you can refer to them in this column here.